now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Hey, over here in the Weather Center, and if you were not out early this morning around 6, 7 o'clock when we were doing the news, it was like frostbite weather. <laughs> but it's turned out to be a half-decent day now. Yeah, not too bad now. We're up to 30 degrees here in East Providence. Yeah. Sunshine going to work, warming us up, and uh, I think the deep freeze is over. This time around, I'm sure there'll be more throughout the rest of the winter. Let's take a look at what's going on outside right now. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, no snow showers, no rain showers. There's the state house, and you can see old Glory flapping in the breeze there. We've got a wind from the west northwest at around 12 miles an hour. Temperature right now of 27 in Providence, but it feels like 17 with still that uh, busy wind. I think the winds will be continuing to diminish throughout the afternoon. Upper 20s across the region, 27 in Taunton, Newport at 28, looking at 27 degrees in. Providence and it still feels pretty cold out there with feel like temperatures in the teens but as I mentioned the winds will slowly be diminishing throughout the course of the afternoon. Satellite radar picture showing quiet conditions across New England right now with lots of sunshine. We are going to be seeing some of this high cloudiness spill overhead during the night and some of the cloudiness will you know kind of act like a, a blanket keeping the temperatures from falling too far during the overnight hours so we're not looking at any more extreme cold overnight. Area of high pressure will be passing off to our south throughout the afternoon and this evening. Our winds will be diminishing and it won't be nearly as cold as it was yesterday. Looking into New Year's Eve day, we're getting some new information in regarding this particular weather system. I don't really want to call it a storm, but it is a system that's going to be bringing us some precipitation. You see the snow associated with it across the Great Lakes. The area of low pressure associated with this particular weather system will be working its way on off to the east and passing off to our south during the daytime tomorrow. What does it mean for us? Well, we're expecting the low to come on through during the uh, afternoon hours. It'll be bringing with it some uh, snow and some rain mixed together. The latest information is indicating that it might be a little bit more in the way of snow. Nonetheless, we're not expecting any accumulations from the white stuff during the daytime tomorrow. So I think the temperatures will be fairly warm in the 30s, maybe even around 40 degrees tomorrow uh, afternoon. And it looks like some of that uh, most of that should be gone by uh, New Year's Eve at midnight, so certainly some good news there. On Friday into Sunday, however, that area of low pressure tracks off to our north and east and it blows up into a big-time storm system. What it means for us is no heavy snow, but we are looking at windy and uh, fairly cold conditions with occasional batches of snow working their way from the north into the south throughout the uh, daytime on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Nothing serious again, but we are looking at the potential for some white stuff through the rest of the holiday weekend. Future cast for the afternoon, temperatures will be topping out in the upper 20s to right around 30 degrees or so. Yes, there's still some wind. You're going to have to bundle up out there. It's cold, but uh, you know it's not as cold as it was yesterday afternoon or this morning. 30 in Riverside, 31 degrees or so in Warwick, right around the freezing mark along the south shore, about 32 in Charlestown. Coventry should be topping out around 29 degrees. Up in northern Rhode Island, we're looking at temperatures in the upper 20s, 28 bar of Johnston around 29 degrees, feeling like the teens with the wind chill factor, and the winds will remain fairly gusty for the next couple of hours. Sunny, not nearly as cold out across southeastern Mass, temps around 32. Fall River in New Bedford, we're looking at lots of sunshine for you folks, and uh, the wind chill factor again will be a factor, but we're not looking at anything extreme like this morning or yesterday afternoon. Clear and dry this evening. 22 to 27 degrees on your way home from uh, work or anything else you might be doing out there. Some last minute preparations for New Year's Eve, perhaps. Speaking of New Year's Eve, here's your future cast. We are calling for some rain and some snow. It looks like it might be tapering off now during the evening hours, and it could possibly be done by midnight. Temperatures at midnight, probably right around 36 degrees. Clouds hang on through the rest of the night. Maybe some light snow showers late Friday, again Saturday, and again Sunday with some windy conditions both Saturday and Sunday. And staying kind of cold over the weekend, staying cold into early next week as well. And you can get your updated future cast anytime by going to the Pinpoint Weather Station. It's on Cox Digital Cable Channel. 125.